I think a key feature of this conflict has been non-compliance um, with international human rights law and international humanitarian law. We have seen a lot of incidents um, which raise very serious questions about uh, respect for principles of distinction, proportionality, uh, respect for the paramount consideration, which, is, which should be the protection of civilians. We have seen schools hit, we've seen humanitarian actors hit, um, we've seen civilians held hostage uh, for almost a year now. Uh, we have seen um, people forced to move multiple times in search of safety, um, but there is no safety. Safety is completely elusive. Uh, we've seen reports of mass graves. Um, we've seen hospitals and ambulances hit. We've seen the blockage of humanitarian aid. Um, all of these acts could amount to very serious violations of international humanitarian law. So there are some very small steps towards accountability, but this is not enough. Unfortunately, largely, there is impunity for the violations that have taken place. Um, there is a lack of investigations, and even when, for example, the Israeli authorities announce an investigation, most of the time you don't see it end in accountability and justice for the perpetrators and for the victims. When there is impunity for serious human rights violations, the parties to the conflict become more brazen. They become much more confident um, in, in, in being able to carry out further military actions without being bound by international humanitarian law. So the impunity has fueled the conflict in the Middle East and the cycles of revenge and violence and injustice over many decades now. And the way to bring this cycle to an end is accountability. There are many ways of insisting on accountability. Using bilateral diplomacy to insist on investigations um, into you know, major incidents. Using universal jurisdiction in your own national uh, courts to, to bring to account those actors. It will be very important for the UN Security Council um, and the UN member states to insist on accountability, to insist on a ceasefire, to insist on the release of those hostages um, who are still being held uh, by Palestinian armed groups, um, and to, to take steps to work towards implementation of a two-state solution.